Hello everyone. I hope you are surviving another work week and had your coffee already. But uh, most importantly, I hope you guys are doing well and healthy. I'd like to briefly introduce myself. Uh, my name is Roberto Gonzalez. I work at RG Realty in Hagerstown, Maryland. We are a small local real estate firm that primarily specialize in the acquisition and disposition of multifamily and investment properties in the Hagerstown area. Today I'm sitting at the office thinking how fears of uh, the coronavirus has practically paralyzed most of the economy. However, in the real estate sector, a quiet revolution is on their way. So here is how COVID-19 is changing uh, the real estate industry and very quickly. Normally spring is considered to be the best time of the year to buy or sell homes. However, this year real estate investing is slackening into a halt. With the number of COVID-19 cases increasing exponentially each day, there is a drop in stocks, companies have shut down, and unemployment cases have risen. People have been instructed to stay at home, and uh, there is much uncertainty surrounding the current situation, and it's unsurprising that the housing market has also slow down considerably. But uh, what is the impact on buyers? Based on research by the National Association of Realtors, there had been a significant drop in buyers' interest with the pandemic first hit the country. There was no change in buyers' behavior. Uh, the changes started being felt when the social distancing guidelines were issued and the schools began uh, closing down. Almost half of all agents reported that the buyers became less interested in buying uh, commercial or residential properties. To bring you closer to the uh, scenario, we will look at New York. The city is the largest real estate market in the country, as you already know, but now has the largest numbers of COVID-19 cases in the country than any other state. The city experienced low traffic in open house viewing after banning of social gatherings. Attendance to open houses uh, dropped by 42% between March and March 15. Initially, the drop in most uh, mortgage rate has increased the buyer's seal, but things started changing when the seven day period as concerned over the stock market uh, correction aumented. Buyers were no longer enticed by the lower interest and most lost confidence in the uh, stock market. What is the impact on uh, sellers? With the increase in the coronavirus cases, the sellers were also shaking. Initially, 81% of realtors reported that sellers have maintained their homes and properties on the market. By March 16, the number has decreased by 20% and uh, most of the sellers decided to pull their homes down uh, from the market. In the case of New York, a significant change was noted as uh, more cases of COVID-19 were reported. On January, 1,778 properties changing their status uh, to either temporary or permanently off market. With more COVID-19 cases being reported in February, the number of properties of uh, the list rose to 3,047. By March 25th, the number increased to uh, 4,500. 
From these figures, you can see that the number of uh, properties that were taken off the market triple in March with the spread of uh, the disease. While uh, there's some closings uh, taking place around the country, the number of transactions has significantly gone uh, down. With the current order to stay at home as the virus continues uh, to spread, obviously inspectors are struggling to access homes. Also, most government uh, recording offices has been you know, closed, which make it hard to conduct some of the crucial aspects of uh, the closing transaction. What can be done about the situation? Well, uh, with the continuous spread of the COVID-19, real estate investing has come to a halt. This year, the selling season uh, will not be as aggressive as has been uh, the case in uh, past years. Most sellers will opt to pull down their property listings uh, with uh, the realtors on the market. However, I think there are still those investors who will continue to search uh, for properties or uh, want to keep their properties listed. In the later case, it's possible that most will turn to virtual meetings as well as show and see properties online, all virtually. We just need to keep adapting uh, to stay relevant in the business. And um, well, that's all today. Thank you for watching.